How did people in the ancient times survive the heat in the summer? With no electric fans, air conditioners, or even refrigerators. Part of the solution was, surprisingly, porcelain pillows. That's right. This is a pillow. It's a boy-shaped pillow produced in Ding Kills about 1,000 years ago. The pillow is in the shape of an adorable little boy, with his arms under his chin, lying on his belly with his feet crossed in the air. Isn't he cute? Of course, I know what you are thinking how could it be comfortable resting on a stone-hard pillow. But it was believed then that sleeping on a porcelain pillow could keep one cool and was good for sleep in summer. And there are always deeper connotations embodied in items of daily use. For example, this boy-shaped pillow carried the wish to be blessed with children. Speaking of porcelain pillows, the Qianlong Emperor of Qing Dynasty was quite a fan, with 11 boy-shaped pillows in his collection. He had silk cushions and red sandalwood beds specially made to display these boy-shaped pillows. He even wrote poems for them. This boy-shaped pillow was his favorite. Perhaps he had many nights of good sleep on this chubby boy pillow during the hot summers. If you've been to the Palace Museum in Beijing, you might have seen this chubby boy. And if you live in Hong Kong, you have the chance of seeing the real thing. On July 2nd, Hong Kong Palace Museum will open to the public. On display will be 914 artifacts from the Palace Museum in Beijing for the opening exhibition, including this white glazed boy shaped pillow produced in Ding Kills. They will be on exhibition for 1 to 12 months only. So, please do make a reservation before you go and don't miss it.